Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw legendary Godzilla's face. Okay, it's going to be very simple, easy, and I think for beginners, so let's get started, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing the top of Godzilla's snout. A curve right there. Going to do a curve at the front. Pull down. Going to go over here on this side curve for kind of that brow that Godzilla has. Pulling back. He has a pretty flat top of his head, I noticed. <clears throat> and we're going to keep pulling down a bit here. Curve along the bottom. Line across. Up. Down. Kind of for this part of his mouth. Going to go over here and draw the nasal cavity, okay? So the nose is going to be like kind of like that shape, like a, somebody uh, cut something in his mouth, on uh, his face, but it's obviously his just his nostrils down over here on that side, the nostril on the corner. Gonna go over here, pull back, line, line. Gonna curve underneath, pull out. All right, I'm gonna go over here now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull up the side of his cheek over here for the zygomatic arch or the jugo bone, I think they call it lizards. It's just basically his cheekbone. Down over here, out. Gonna go to the top of his head right here and curve and start going downward. Down his back over there. <laughs> Gonna go over here and draw the like a curve right there for this kind of skin that they have when they open their mouth, like lizards. Uh, Godzilla has that loose skin. It's not loose, sorry, it's like this skin underneath. Curve underneath there. Line underneath here. Curve up. Out. Downward. Curve over here for the kind of the chin. And we're gonna pull back over here for the back of the jaw. And it's gonna curve up. All right, let's go over here to the teeth right here. Line right there, line right there, line right there, line right there, line right there. Line right here, line right here. Curve along that side of the mouth. That's the same thing over here, that skin on the back side of his mouth. And we're going to draw, again, small teeth here. They're small and relative to his size, right? If you talk about, like, relativity, relatively, they're relatively small, you know. Line, 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 line. Over here. Curve there. I'm going to draw over here. Curve back for the tongue on the inside of the mouth. Line underneath. And I'm going to draw this side of his neck. His neck is huge as it goes down with Godzilla. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go over here and draw the kind of side of the side. of It's like a like a change in plane from the front of his body to the side. And I'm going to draw over here like a curve over here for the kind of the where the cheekbone goes. It's kind of where his ear is. And I'm gonna draw another line right there for a kind of change, plane change. Now let's go into the spikes. Curve, spike right there, spike right there, spike right there. A little bit of a bigger spike right there. It looks like three spikes put together. That's kind of a big thing, right? They get bigger as it goes along his back. So as we get down more, it's gonna look like more spikes are like merged together, right? And this is a legendary version of Godzilla, right? So, uh, like from the new, uh, the newer movies. Line over here, and then it's gonna go right off the page on that one. So just like the T-Rex face, by the way, if you haven't seen that video, go check out the T-Rex face. Um, a lot of this is gonna be predicated on, you know, texture. Anytime you draw something like a lizard, it's gonna be m like texture is a huge part of it. So let's go over here. We're gonna draw these curves for some scales, kind of at the front. Curve, curve, curve for some scales. <laughs> line, 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 line. 
cross here. Line, 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 cross, cross, line, 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 cross, cross. Line, line. Those, uh, that kind of, those kind of hashtag marks are kind of shorthand for scales. And that's kind of what we're looking for, right? If you want to learn how to draw anything, and I mean anything and anything, go to the main website, sketchingeasy.com, and there's a beginner drawing lesson entirely about, you know, how to, uh, like, how to, you know, make stuff work, make stuff happen. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, it's entirely basically on how to hold the pencil, how to get clean lines. So I'll give you a quick example right here. So when you're writing, for example, like writing your name and stuff like that, we're anchoring our hand right here. And that's kind of it for the most part, right? When we write, it's kind of it. But when we're drawing, let's just say I pull this stroke right here, my hand's moving in a totally different manner. As you can tell, I'm kind of moving a little bit at the shoulder, a little bit at the elbow, right? It's a different thing. And for precision, that stuff really isn't intuitive. It's not something we did all the time if you're brand new at drawing. So what happens is people will draw much, much worse then you think they will sometimes if they've never drawn like that because they've never moved their hand like that for precision. So they'll make wiggly lines, it'll look messy, it'll look gross um, just because they don't have control of those muscles in their shoulder. Um, let me keep going by the way while I'm doing this, while I'm talking to you. So the secret to the muscles in the shoulder thing, uh, right here I'm going to draw little curves for scales. Like just little curves here and there, kind of peppering them all over. The uh, the thing about the shoulder thing, the muscles in your shoulder, is that something that no one ever, ever talks about is that it's really, really easy to get those muscles in shape. Like, really easy. You just do a few simple exercises, and, but some people, a lot of people will have those errors, you know, for years, sometimes their entire career, um, where they, they, they won't be able to, like like, put down the line they want to put down. Because half of this is like knowledge, it's knowing it, and then the other half is actually putting down the line that you want. Uh, but some people will go their whole career and not be able to put a line down. So it's it's kind of crazy. Like people will be worse than they should be because of that. But anyways, I, I we take care of that thing in like a couple weeks. Uh, go. That's what the program is about. It's completely free. No sign up, nothing. It's embedded into the website. Go to sketchingeasy.com and then click on the dragon icon or the dragon image and you're gonna do that. So let's go over here to the inside right here and draw his actual eye. This is gonna be like a curve at the top, pulling down. Curve underneath, very similar to human eye, obviously, but just much bigger. And curve over here, he's got a little bit of a innocent look right there in a way. And then the rest of it is literally gonna be just kind of, you know, drawing in some stuff. Curve, 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 curve. And then look at this. This is, a, this is the, the skin in the back of the mouth. I'm gonna fill that area in. Just to kind of give it a little bit more, uh, more flavor there. Anyways, that's it. He looks pretty nice here, honestly. He looks very like kind, right? I think, let's give him a little bit more of an angry look. But he looks very kind, uh, but that is legendary Godzilla's face. Just kind of their idol. I, I, you know, idling for the most part, just chilling out. You can draw textures, you can keep going with that. But I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, go check out that website, like I mentioned, and also subscribe to the channel. I draw all kinds of stuff on here. Anything you request, I'll probably draw it. Let's put a little anger thing there. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.